Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Staxel. So we got a lot of things to get done today. Um, I did a little bit of work off camera on a museum. And when I say a little bit of work, don't, don't get too excited please. Um, <laughs> anyway, so my funds are pretty low. So uh, I was wandering around and I totally forgot about this kind of like money glitch. So there's this entire mine system. There's one in every single world. Um, for me, it's pretty close to my farm, I think. Yeah, kind of close to my farm. It's it's in the it's in the world of it. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so what you can do is if you grab your hammer, you can just kind of like destroy the mine, which is like really sad, and I don't really like doing it, but I need the money, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but it actually goes back pretty far. From what I understand, there's not quite a use for this yet in the game, other than just kind of like aesthetically cool. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I don't really have any plans to do any builds with this mine, so I'm just gonna destroy it for now. So, rip in peace mine, 2018 to 2018. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, some of the things that I want to get done today is I would like to start on a few of the houses. Um, when I was playing off camera, I actually had Rosemary. I keep wanting to call her Rosaline, because um, freaking Mario. Uh... Is there anything to destroy over here? Not really. I'm just gonna get, like, the big boxes and mine carts and stuff. But essentially, she wants me to build a pet store for her, uh, which I knew was going to be a request eventually, but I didn't think it'd be this soon. So now we have Jamie's house, a museum to build, uh, <laughs> Rosemary's pet store, and what? And uh, I think that's it for now. Um, we also have a chicken coop and stuff as well, but my main thing is just to kind of work on the museum a little bit. It's not going to get done this episode just because, like, building is so expensive, but... This will definitely help us towards the funds needed for the build. And then I kind of want to get into farming a little bit more too. Because like, honestly, it will make you a good amount of money if you have a decent farm. So I have a whole idea for it uh, plotted out in my mind. So it's just a matter of getting the utensils needed for it. Which honestly shouldn't be that expensive since it's like dirt. And I think I want to go with this wood kind of... Uh, you guys will see. You guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. But I'm going to go finish up uh, destroying this mine. And I'll be back uh, momentarily. Okay, so I only did about half of the mine. Uh, mainly just because I ran out of time during the... Oh my god, 400... Jesus. I ran... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I love exploits in games. Um, anyway, I ran out of time during the day, so I was like, I'll just do half of it and come back later. And, uh, essentially, this is how much money you can make just doing about half of the mine. I don't even know if I did half. Like, I didn't do a lot. Um, I also got this paw lamp that my cat gave me, so I want to put that somewhere because it's a little bit special to me. Um, but we have a few items needed to finish the requirements of the museum. So let's go ahead and quickly sell this last little thing. Um, Oscar wants a broom for some reason, and because I love Oscar, I'm going to buy him a broom. How's a pet store coming along? It's not. It's not coming along at all. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, okay, so we need some pet food as well. Where's a broom? There's a broom. Uh, we'll get this. What is this? A dry sponge? <gasps> oh, that's exciting. Um, and also, where's the pet food? I'll just get a few of these because we can now. Um, so let's see. Where did Oscar go? I just saw him. There he is. And I don't know if I talked to Cecile, Cecile, I don't know what her name is. You found a broom for me? Of course. Last time I gave him a broom, he gave me a chicken, so... Alright. I'm just gonna sell this right in front of him. Boop. Hey, well, it's a free 60 petals. I mean, it didn't have... Uh, but let's head to the museum. And when I say don't expect much, I really mean don't expect much. I plotted out the... Yeah, here it is. I plotted out the... Yeah. Uh... <laughs> it looks so bad. I plotted out the layout of it, but like I said, I ran out of money, so I was like, well, whatever. So I just am going to place the requirements right here, just so it's like done-ish. And here, yeah, roof, any block is missing. Okay, um, well, we can quickly deal with that. Um, I'll just set it here and then maybe just do something like this. And then boop, boop. And that should be good enough for the roof. <laughs> Yay! Oh, it looks so great. Just the best museum ever. I love it. Ooh, it is rough. Um, how many bees do I have? I have three bees. Hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and buy some apiaries and some more jars while we're here, too. And I think Vorlin was in the uh, area as well, so we need to go talk to him. But let's buy three of these. I know they're a bit expensive, but honestly, guys, like, you make your money back so quickly with them. 
So it's kind of worth it. And we'll just buy like five empty jars because why the hell not? Um, I also want to get things started for the farm as well. But where is Borland? Oh, there he is. Hi, bud. We finished your museum. Fantastic. Magnificent. True marvel. In case it was not apparent, these are my impressions upon seeing our new museum. Oh, I don't know if I'd use those words. I really, I would not. Um, but okay. I cannot adequately express my thanks. First, you restore me to humanoid form. Humanoid. Who talks like Anyway. Um, then you erect. I, again, would not use that word. A museum in my honor. I am humble, truly. For your service, please take this. Uh, uh, that right there is an unpolished fossil. Not like I have 150 in my inventory, but whatever. You might find that if you break the rocks lying around on the island. Oh, I, I butchered that. Yes, okay. Polish, has a polisher. Yes. The polishing machine could... <laughs> I love it. Can be used to clean up old fossils for the museum and expand your collection. Uh, should you ever find any, I gave up with the voice. Collectibles do come and see me. Uh, you're also free to populate and display with them. Um, okay, so I have been giving some great tips, and I pinned it on the last episode. But essentially, you don't want to put all of your fossils in there at once because it will destroy your game. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're not gonna do that. But I do want to find what we need for the farm real quick so now that we have a lot of money we can kind of go ham on building for a while um granted it's gonna run out eventually but with the farm also this should be enough we need a lot of this material anyway so i'm just gonna kind of stock up maybe a lot of this as well um yeah i feel good about that and then maybe some dark wood planks okay cool so i know we're going a little bit bankrupt with this but that's a-okay like <laughs> we didn't need that money anyway um, so let's go back home. I kind of want to set up the polisher at home since I'll be working there for a while. And we'll just kind of like move it wherever we're working. Um, but let's go ahead and grab this as well. I also uh, started a little bit on Jamie's house. At least getting kind of the rough outline. I'm going to change this area up a bit. I have a uh, sort of idea for what I want to do. But anyway, that's going to be a priority that's not a priority for a long time. Yes, grammar good. Okay. <laughs> So let's go ahead and set the polishing machine down. Where do I want to set it? Where do I want to build my... Oh my god, I didn't plan any of this out. Uh, okay, the house is going to kind of be here. I would like to have a path leading to the barn here, which is... Ignore this. I needed to build it. it it's a mess. Um, and then it wouldn't be bad to have the farm right over here. And then have this maybe going down to have a chicken coop right I don't know. Do I want the chicken coop here and then have a path here as well? These are questions. I think I'm just going to build a barn, or the barn, uh, the farm here. So let's go ahead and work on that. Okay, so real quick, we need to sell some of these fossils. Um, I was working on the farm and stuff, and it's not really... I'll finish it up probably on camera, um, just because it's such a quick thing to do. But anyway, uh, I only polished about 10 at a time, and I also placed on the apiaries as well. Um, just stuff that you guys have seen before, so I was like, eh, you know, why Why show it again? I'll probably show the polishing of the fossils again, though, just because like, it is a new season and stuff, and some people might not see it. But um, from what I understand, by the way, we can talk to him as soon as we have like some new fossils and he'll be like oh excited and collectible deliveries must be recorded uh come talk to me each time you make a new discovery and i'll bestow upon you a valorian encyclopedia points collect enough extravagant treasures and it could be yours for this batch of 32 200 points okay cool sweet so five unpolished fossils so we just get more fossils um i have for this painting. Ooh, cool. Keep up the excellent work. I will. So I am just going to sell these fossils for now. Uh, I'm not too worried about keeping any of them. Because um, essentially, I don't really have a spot for them in the museum at this point. And we have, we have like over 100. So we will definitely get dupes. Um, plus, like, I kind of want to nitpick and only have a few displayed for now. Just because like, if we display all of these, because honestly, here's what it looks like. So picture like 50 more of these. <laughs> so I actually have an episode and I highly recommend watching this. Um, it was the first time I did Staxel with uh, my best friend Casey and stuff. And it's on the channel for sure. Oh, this is cool. I'll probably keep this. 
Um, but anyway, so we didn't understand fossils at that point. Like, it was a brand new feature to the game. So, like, obviously we had no idea what we were doing. Um, and essentially it's just a complete uh, catastrophic mess. So if I remember, I'll try and link that down below. But we're also just going to put this guy here for now. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> I'll try and link that below if I remember. Uh, I, hopefully I should because it's one thing to remember. Uh, but let's see. We need this. We need to actually go get some dirt as well. So let's go like way past the museum. Maybe over here a little bit. Um, I definitely recommend, even if you have a lot of fossils, to keep picking more up because you actually go through them pretty darn fast. So even though it looks like we have a ton, um, you'll always see me picking up more. And I always recommend catching bugs whenever you see them as well, just because like it's a little bit of extra income. But those are just like small tips and tricks that I would recommend. Um, we're just going to kind of just do this. <laughs> I'm not too picky with where I get dirt and stuff just because I probably won't be building all the way back here. So no one's going to see this. Uh... Plus, like, we can always come back and fill it in later or buy some dirt if it's really a problem. But, yeah, I just don't really have it in me to care too much. Okay, so this should be absolutely plenty of dirt. Okay, and then let's go ahead and catch these two little butterflies. Boop. Almost. Boop. And boop. Okay, and you don't want to leave... I don't know if this is true, so don't hold me to this, but I don't think you want to leave fossils polishing overnight. Um, just because, like, they have a tendency to disappear, at least from my personal experience. Um, maybe not everyone has had that, so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I wouldn't risk it if I were you. Um, also, there's a lot of bugs. Every time I go out hunting for bugs, I can never find them, but when I'm just walking around doing stuff, I always find, like, 50. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this, and that should be, oh my god, there's so many, so many bugs. Okay, um, where is our farm? Because that's something that I need to know. Uh, there's Rhea, she's over there. Okay, there's our farm. I could just teleport home using the handy-dandy teleport button, but, uh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well walk. Might as well. Oh my. God. Are you kidding me? These sell for like 200, so I. Inventory full. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, we don't need this one dirt block. There we go. Boop. Okay, we're good. Um, I should probably sell some of this too. Okay, I'll be back come tomorrow and stuff, and we'll finish up the farm then. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish off this little barn. Or, I keep wanting to call it a barn. Good lord. Um, this little farm thing. Um, it's essentially a 6x6, six six, so it's 36 total. Um, we're just going to kind of go around here. I built something similar in the first series I did, and it just worked out really, really well. It was like twice the size of this, though. Um, but then again, I had someone helping me, so I probably won't make it that same large size this time around. Just because, like, with no one helping me, it's just kind of... I don't know, it's hard to do on your own to have, like, all the time in the world to farm. So we're... Oh, shoot. I actually need to make this one bigger to do what I want to do. Well, actually, this wouldn't be bad. We'll just keep this for now, and then maybe do something like this and... Yeah, okay, this isn't bad. This isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, and then we'll find the center here and just do something similar. Essentially, I want an access point from all angles of it, but also being able to block it off slash wall it off. So we'll do something like this. And then I'll have water flowing in each of these little four corners, which would be kind of like a cool touch. And actually, um, fun fact, in architecture and stuff, because that is my minor and I do retain a few things from that class. <laughs> So, uh, I think it was Islamic architecture and stuff. If you have water on four corners, kind of like this, it was a sign of wealth back in the day. Um, it's mainly in places that, I think it was also in Egypt as well. But it's places where it's just drier climate and stuff. A sign of water, like, just there and stuff displayed. Especially in, like, fountains or something like this. Just was, like, a good sign of wealth and everything. And I know I butchered that grammar to hell and back, but oh well. Um, okay, we're gonna swap these out real quick and just go ahead and plant. Um, I don't really have a set goal of how I want to plant these. I'm just gonna kind of throw them down and just hope for the best. Um, but essentially, this is something that's like takes only a few seconds to do each day. It'll definitely be worth it in the long run just to have this income constantly going. And then this will probably be the biggest I do as far as like farms and stuff goes. Plant 50 times. Oh, that's cool. I uh, will just do something like this and then come back and do our onions as well. And that should be golden. Um, let us see. 
Yes. Okay. And I think that's all I bought as far as... The oh, no. I have some tomato seeds. Okay, good. I was like, I don't know if I have any more. Um, I will go ahead and buy the remaining few seeds and stuff just to fill this up. My God. I don't know why I can't talk today. Like, I'm trying hard. <laughs> it's, I think it's because I'm concentrating on something else. Um, but let's go ahead and put maybe about 10 more fossils in here while we take care of some of our daily chores, at least. And... Don't forget to turn it on or off, depending on uh, if you want it going. So we'll just leave that doing that. But it will start uh, throwing out fossils as well. And you can only hold so many of them before, like, it overruns uh, and they despawn. So, yeah, just be very careful about your fossil process and stuff because you definitely want to keep those. And I also had to remove the fence in between these two because they kept jumping over to see each other. And I was like, you know what? They're friends, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'll probably just fill this in with grass as well, but I don't know. I kind of like the wood right there. We'll see. It's it's not something that's like really important. Like we have to finish the barn and do a few other things before like that becomes an issue. Um, speaking of which, I might go ahead and finish off the barn, uh, just because there's really no reason for me not to now that I have money. Uh, also, I kind of want to set this guy right here. I know logically this would burn the entire place down, but uh, it's Saxel, so we don't really have to worry about that problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I might, I also need to get the middle hedge of this as well. Whew, I have like a lot of just like small things to work on. Uh, so I might do that off camera real quick and then, oh, did I just turn this off? I did. Whoop, not what I wanted to do. Can I not get this, this little fossil? Eh, we won't worry about it. Okay. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Our fruit tree finally has something. Also, are these cucumbers ready? Yes, they are. Good, good, good. Um, after this season, I won't be using this small little farm anymore. But yay! Oh, this is our first, like, fruit tree that we've actually had in either of my Staxel series. So that's exciting. Um, are any of the honeys ready? No. That's fine. That's all good. Okay, I'll be back. Well, guys, Oscar asked me to clean up the town yet again, and since we got such good pay last time, I figured why not? Uh, <laughs> so that is what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I just thought I would share that with you guys, just because, I, I don't know, I feel weird not sharing stuff with you guys, like, with this game. Who grammar is still golden. Um, I was going to do something else, too, and I completely forgot what I was going to do, so here we are. Oh, so apparently there is a vandal in town, and I need to deliver this to Maximilian, where he is in his office, I think. But yeah, um, that's something I didn't know could happen. But alrighty, hey Max, we got something for you. A note, you say? Tell me it was not sent by Oscar. Always with these notes, I understand that it's expensive to send by post, but why do they never come to me in person? So Oscar believes we have a vandal. I don't know why he's British. Um, I must say that with the state of this town being uh, in recently, I was beginning to worry he was getting too old. Uh, but a vandal? Now that makes far more sense. Let Oscar know that the message was received, would you? I tell him myself, but I think I'd rather not. Yeah, that's fair. That is a fair point. Um, <laughs> Oscar can be a little interesting of a dude. Uh, where was he? I always lose him. It's like he's right there and then he just teleports away. Um, where did Oscar go? Oscar, where the hell are you? Am I crazy? Oh, no, there he is. Okay. <laughs> it's like, he, did he just spawn away? Um, okay. So we will go ahead and go talk to him. Um, I also talked to Farm Fan just because why not? And I got 20 beet seeds, so that's nice. I was beginning to think that you weren't coming back. Not that it would matter, of course. I just want to confirm that my message was delivered. Now, if you wouldn't mind, I've been preparing a last line of defense in case of animal returns. Oh my god. Go forth and recruit an army. Oh no. Okay, so pretty much everyone in town gets a broom. Jesus. What is this quest? I love it. Okay, so here is Vorlin. I don't know if he gets one, but it wouldn't hurt to talk to him anyway. Um, I know Farm Fan gets one. I believe I saw her name. Uh, so let's see. We'll just talk to everyone in town just because we have to anyway. Hi, Max. I think... Do you get a broom? No. Do you get a broom? Yes. I was hoping to do that first. 
Oh, good lord. Okay, hi, Rowan. Uh, that Oscar really does get a bit too riled up, but I suppose I won't say no to a free broom, right? That was my thoughts exactly. Okay, um, where are the remaining people? So there's Rosemary, so we'll talk to her. Uh, how's the pet store coming along? No, I have to give you a broom. Please take my broom! Okay, um, she doesn't want my broom. That's okay. I, I don't need love. Uh, Leaf, I know one's for you. It can be pretty hard to be spontaneous with people you only met. Okay, you for sure have to have a broom. Why can't I give brooms? Am I crazy? It won't let me give brooms to people. <laughs> okay, uh, Cecile gets one. I know Alyssa does too. Uh, that's so weird. Because I know Leaf was for sure one of the people he told me to give a broom to. Oh, well. Yeah, sure thing. <sighs> okay, I don't want to. Take a broom! <laughs> they won't take my brooms. I don't know what to do. Um... Yeah, I don't... I guess we can talk to Alyssa and give her her broom, but uh, no one else will take a broom. I don't really know what to do. I'm holding it. Maybe maybe I have to, like, click on them with the broom. Is Alyssa in here? I feel like she was in here. Am I crazy? There she is. She's glitched into the floor. Of course. Okay. Hey, what's this? A broom? What is old Oscar up to this time? He better not be thinking this is my fault. I don't think he is. I don't think he is. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, whew. <laughs> that was rough. Um, oh, Leaf, good. It's so nice not to have people in town. Okay, take a broom. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we talk to Oscar again and be like, we talk to everyone and nobody wants a broom. Sorry, Oscar, rip. Um, he might be like, talk to these people and I, I don't know what he's gonna say. Hi, Oscar. To Alyssa, Rowan, farm fam, we did. Oh, Leaf and Rhea too. Yeah, so see, Leaf didn't take the broom. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I'll be back. Okay, so I was finally able to give Leaf a broom. Um, so we should be good, because I think the last broom is ours. Um, also, yeah, I did get some more. <sighs> okay, <laughs> let me sell some things. Uh, let me clean up this inventory. Yeah, my inventory is actually really rough right now. Uh, if you guys see it, it's just a hot mess. Um, so we'll just do something like this. Swap this out. Okay, um, oh god, I just threw everything on the floor. Oh my god, okay. Let's do this. <laughs> And this way we can come back and- Oh my god, where did it go? Okay. Boop, boop, boop. And we'll just place this all by the museum. Um, I did add a few more dark wood tiles, but like, really not much. Like, not worth getting excited about, but... Here, this way we at least won't lose them. Um, where did the other stand go? Boop. Okay, perfect. Um, and I might go ahead and just place this here. Okay. <laughs> I'll clean all that up sometime, eventually. But not- not today. Not today. Um, so let's go talk to Oscar again and see if we can't be done with this. Uh, good work. Could have been a bit snappier, but then you do seem a little slow. Uh, perhaps this will deter the vandal. If not, we may have to do something a little more extreme. Oh my god. Oh, police hat! Aww. I did well-ish. Okay. Oh, Jesus. He spasmed. Okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me this episode. I'm going to finish the barn probably off camera and stuff. Um, it's dinner time for me, so I'm going to go fix my food and stuff. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be able to talk by next episode. I give up. Uh, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Please remember to like this if you did. And uh, yeah, so until then, bye.